Ritualistic Health Crusaders, Dr. Wren here. Oftentimes I'm asked, Dr. Wren, what is your practice? Have you ever heard of the girl with million dollar legs? Betty Grable is her name. Do you know how she got that nickname? Of course she had great legs, but how did it stick and how did she legitimize this superheroine nickname? She ingeniously got her legs insured for a million dollars. Way to go, Betty. I am known as Dr. Wren, America's holistic sweetheart. This title has been bestowed on me by the son of the founder of the largest holistic urban learning center in the world, where I'm involved in health event coordination. I have been called many names to invoke my different aspects all rolled into one. They range from Doc Star, for my Kirtan Mantra sang to Bon Jovi tunes, to Renzi as my Jersey Shore nickname and some additional renisms in between. My main mission as a humanitarian and the president of the Central New Jersey Holistic Chamber of Commerce is to activate the Garden State and beyond, making holistic health fun, trendy, glamorous, and sexy. And let's face it, we know change must come from within first. I have worn many hats, moccasins, and high heels, which I'm known to climb trees in, as I've metamorphosed through numerous stages in this life. I agree with William Cowper when he said, variety is the very spice of life, and I choose the holistic buffet. Did you hear kale was served at Giant Stadium during the last Super Bowl? I know green juice at our 24-hour diners, raw nuts on the turnpike truck stops, sandwiches made with organic eggs, veggie tailor ham, or pork roll depending on your exit number, with lactose-free cheese and curried coconut strips as boardwalk fries are next. When it comes to nutrition, we must remember that we can start making choices now to balance out the ones that we have made in the past, because it's never too late. It's all about experimentation to find the right nutritional fit that works for us individually in order to stay in balance. Part of what I do is strive to educate health consumers to make the most conscious decisions for themselves by utilizing the knowledge I've gained from my own experimentation. Some of the best advice I've ever been given is always be grateful and thankful for everything and start your own. This is where I came up with spreading contagious gratitude on my holistic health crusade. As New Year's is upon us, one thing I am most grateful for this last year is being mentioned for my Holistic Health Crusade in the spring edition of Union County College's The Voice. This small paragraph aided in the nomination for the Higher Achievement Award I received from the American Naturopathic Medical Association. There it is. I believe gratitude or a positive attitude is contagious. It makes sense based on natural laws that positivity is a higher energetic vibration and energy is transferable. We see it all the time in our daily lives when we encounter a happy person versus a person having a bad day. Their attitude towards themselves affects not only everything around them, but their health and entire reality based on the law of attraction. Let's all have the attitude of gratitude so it spreads like an epidemic throughout our environment with a planetary ripple effect. It really feels good when you reach a place in life when you are blessed with reaping the rewards of what you sow. Just like working on our apps all winter for their debut at Seaside Heights Memorial Day weekend, you must discover and pursue your passion relentlessly with fervor and the ultimate conviction. Be radical in a positive way about delivering your message and leaving your legacy behind on this planet. For me, I've discovered nature is my identity. And whenever I plant a tree, I look at it as part of my legacy. Like Frank Sinatra. Hey, Frankie. I'm doing it my way to bring the vitalist approach to health back to the table. Naturopathy was the commonality before Big Pharma set in in the mid-1900s, and we started receiving more of a one-size-fits-all approach. Don't get me wrong. I am all for an integrated perspective and marrying the alpha technologies of all research gone by, but we each have a unique constitution. We are sewn together by DNA as the common thread. However, we all deserve a customized protocol as natural as possible when it comes to our health care. The most natural healthcare regimen being a preventative approach. My approach is I do my best to live my truth every day 
and encourage others to be their change. I choose meditation over medication, love over drugs, no confining dogmas, and food as my medicine. What up, Hippocrates? Holla at you, naturopath. My practice is health edutainment, which is an entertainment with an educational component, or what I call conscious media, you know, holistic Oprah style. So that's enough about me. I can't wait to talk more about how to help you start thinking healthy in our upcoming segments. Don't forget to check my blog out at lorenlorino.com and write in to UnionTV34 at uniontownship.com with anything health-related you would like alternative suggestions to or covered on the show. Smooches. <laughs>